Hello guys, good morning. I'm very happy you are here. I'm Rinske Dauna and welcome to my art channel. Today I will be making four small classic Dutch pours with the Prussian blue base. So I will be making a puddle on all of those four canvases. I will be blowing them out differently because I will attach them together or well, place them close together and I don't have the room to blow them out like I normally do. Because I was looking at my most recent videos from the last half year and every time when I do this um, small puddle, classic Dutch pour, I blow them out exactly the same. So I think it's a sort of muscle memory I learned myself. Why am I doing that? Because it's a small experiment. Because I was revisiting the Skillshare class by Daniela Krishna about the power of aha moments. I followed this class in the beginning of this year already, but it was so inspirational for me. And sometimes really in my daily life, I think about the things she is saying and make different decisions even. I think it's such an inspirational class. Uh, you should definitely check it out if you're interested. Skillshare is a community platform and they have um, a lot of classes for creatives by creatives. Almost literally everything is on there. I have a link for you guys in the description. The first thousand people that click that link will get a free premium access to Skillshare. So definitely check that out. And I'm gonna start making those small Dutch pours and trying to blow them out differently, if I can even. So let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna make four minis in one go. I will cover them all with Prussian blue and then in every corner here, I will make a puddle and blow it out from that corner. Here we go. Okay, the base color is on and let's start making a puddle in every corner. Well, I do it slightly off center and I'm doing that because I will blow the base color over it and I will blow that then in that corner direction. And I'm really doing this because I, I was recently looking at all my latest videos and somehow I have a sort of muscle memory with the blow dryer and I keep blowing the same way. So I want to challenge myself a little bit here that I will blow differently. So this is a turquoise green by Amsterdam. And I'm using white because in a dark colored base, I love when there's some contrast. Let's use some yellow. I would like to make some green. So the yellow with the Prussian blue and with the turquoise blue will make green. So I really hope that will pop up. And then now I will pour a magenta because the yellow with the magenta will make as well a beautiful sort of orange color, but probably they won't mix that much together. Okay, I have gold, not so much. Uh, and I will use a Venetian rose in this too. And 
just a bit somewhere. And then a few drops of magenta again. Okay. Normally I don't do this and I let the gold be on top. You know, it might be that these, these canvases will look so similar and I just make like four the same ones. I will uh, pour the base color around this so I can let it flow let's start with the blow dryer I will start blowing the base color over all these puddles And it's time to blow it out. Well, that definitely doesn't look the same. Here I lost even all the magenta. It's so weird. And the way I blew this was, no, nah, that was not, uh, not right. I should watch that back and see how I blew this because that was so weird. Here, by the way, it created that orange I was talking about. Oh, whoa, they're so different. I think here there will be a lot of cells popping up let me try that yes <laughs> you know what this one i'm just gonna let this be like that it's such a beautiful cell clutter here in the center you will see it with the close-up um yeah, I will put that one away and start working on this one and then see if I can fix those two. I think this can be fixed. These two, don't know yet. I don't know if this is a winner, but this part here, that's definitely a winner. Okay, let's see if we can do something about the other ones. So let's start here. You know, with this one, it did cover a big part of the canvas, so that's good. I think as well, if I torch here, a lot will happen. Yeah. I do like the movement here. Um, here it's it's so soft. I don't like that. Uh, it's super interesting. Let's continue with the last one. You know what? I will do this one again because I feel like I can't fix this. Okay.
Okay, okay, okay. I think what I learned here, I don't need to do these paintings all together. Just go one by one. Okay, I will align them and give you a close-up of all four. Totally different. Okay, here they are. And these two are the winners for me. Uh, there's a lot of reflection, but this is so beautiful and soft. And with those cells then in it, not too much here. Well, there are a lot of cells, but you know, with the color gradients here. I think this will dry super beautiful. And then this one, this was such a surprise. So much colored cells here. And then very soft on the sides. Really like that composition, I think. You know, this is just a flower. And then we go here. Um, I don't know about this one. Um, the colors are less vibrant here as well. I should see when it's dry. Because the composition, it's, <laughs> it's super fun. I should, uh, no, I'm, I'm gonna let this dry. This one, uh, no, I'm not happy. It's way too much of the turquoise now. Um, yeah, so I think it's two out of four here. But we'll see once they're all dry. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.